Hey guys, I am hoping that this is not bad connection. Let me know if you jump on. If you're just jumping on now, you're catching me from the replay. Um, if you no longer see the top red live at the top, means I'm no longer live. I'm going to check this connection really quickly and then also share into my customer group. It said bad connection, so let me double check. Sorry, you're gonna wanna fast forward if you're catching this from the replay because, hey Kim, um, I think that connection might be off. Let me double check. I'm going to, um, okay, it looks all right. I'm gonna share this to my customer group. Give me one second, guys. Hey, girly girl. I'm gonna share to my customer group, and then as soon as I do that, I will get started. Um, I wanted to, I was gonna skip like foundation and everything and just go straight for eyes, but I really am loving the foundation alone and not mixed with our color correcting moisturizer anymore. So I like it for both things. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about that. Let me share this to my customer group and let me get started. All right, it's so awkward when you're sharing your own video and you're like watching yourself. It's like, um, it's weird. All right, shared, hopefully that went to the correct place and let's drop this down. Okay guys, so I already put silk on and I apply silk in a downward motion and I let that sit on for about 10 minutes. If you jump on, say hi, you're gonna wanna say hi in this video, believe me, because if you click on my face, like hit me in the nose, you're going to see that there's a diamond gloss giveaway. So believe me, you're going to want to say hello, interact and give me some ones, some hearts and some hellos. My connection might be weird because we're having some not the best weather. I mean, it hasn't started yet, but I have a feeling it's gonna start. I use suede in our Make Sense foundation. And as you guys know, I am obsessed with our um, color correcting moisturizer, but for nights that I'm going to be going somewhere or nights that I want fuller coverage, you can get full coverage with the color correcting moisturizer, but you can get amazing coverage with our foundation. So it's all about how you apply. You want to apply either with a flat stippling brush like this, which is one of my favorites, hey Sarah, or you can apply with more of a kabuki brush. So I'm gonna do the kabuki today, which I always, this is my favorite brush by BH Cosmetics, which is a very stiff um, stippling brush. So we're gonna try this one with the foundation. And I'm doing foundation alone, which I don't normally do with a new brush. So this could be kind of, we shall see. I hope my light isn't dark. I feel like it looks really dark, but we'll find out. And I had to keep going back to my eye look and um, seeing if I could recreate it. I posted an eye look. I'm gonna add just a very little bit of pearlizer just because it gives me more of like an all over dewy look, like an airbrush look. And then I just take the end of this brush and then I just mix it together and then whatever's extra, I just go right onto my face, but I am going to do it with this flat top kabuki. This is by BS Mall. You guys, you can do concealer first. You can do concealer after. I like to do my concealer after. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this brush. I'm so awkward about new brushes. And I was like, should I try a new brush live? I don't know. Oh, I like my stippling brush. Like I, uh, for blending buds, I don't like them. If you use a blending bud, you definitely need to make sure that you um, make sure it's damp. Like you wanna get it underwater, get it fully wet, and then squeeze the excess out. Um, so you don't have, if you keep it dry, it's not gonna give you fuller coverage, which I mean, some people might say that it does, you guys, but it's going to soak up our products. So that for sure, you wanna make sure that it's damp. I'm gonna keep going with this brush, but if you see, I'm not dragging. So to get the most coverage, you want to just like push this in. So that's called stippling. Of course, when you get down here, you wanna bring this down. But some people will say, I don't get the most full coverage. Well, you do, you just need to take your time applying your foundation. Um, you're not gonna put your foundation on super quickly. You know, you're gonna to wanna to take that time and stipple it in. As long as you stipple it in, you're going to get amazing coverage, like coverage where you will look like a professional makeup artist did your makeup. You will have full on coverage. You should not see any blemishes or anything under your foundation. And it is the lightest foundation that I have ever used on my face. I already did my brows. 
with garnet because my brows take me a little bit longer. I even already made my little mixture of white and light combined so I can save that time as well. I think this brush would be better for more of contouring or maybe it would be better for the color correcting moisturizer. But since I feel like with the foundation, you need to, well, I want to stipple it in more than drag it. For me, I really like my um, stippling brush, the so Kabuki brush. I wanted to try it because I know a lot of people like their Kabuki brush. Girl, you are going to love your BS Mall. Like, I am obsessed with, like, my shadow brushes by BS Mall. I'm obsessed with a lot of them. But I think this would be good even for, like, a contour or blush would be amazing. Right now, I mean, even the color correcting moisturizer, I think it would be good. I'm just more of, I don't know, foundation. Maybe I just need to play with it more, too. And I did like a quick clean to it with the Cinema Secrets. Like I didn't do like a full on with our brush cleaner yet. So that makes a huge difference in my opinion. I just had to spray down like a couple of my brushes because I had a couple makeovers last week. So I had to spray them down quickly so I could use them today. And the Cinema Secrets is amazing for that. Like it makes them so clean. Okay, so I'm just blending it out. And I think at, or I know adding pearlizer to it, it just makes it more of an airbrush finish. I feel like my light is really dark. I think it's just because it's so dark outside right now. Um, I'm getting a logo made. So when I jump on live, my um, logo will pop up. I'm super excited about it. I'm just super picky. So trying to get it made is like, you should see my conversations back and forth with this lady. She probably thinks I'm crazy and doesn't want to talk to me anymore because I honestly can't stop like... <laughs> You're going to love the entire set. The entire set is like, there's two sets. It's so cheap, it's amazing. I mixed light and white in this container. So I send my lip scrubs out in this container. So we're gonna talk highlighting contour. So I go down normally with light and white, as you guys know, underneath my eyes. But since it takes me longer to mix it together, I figured, hey, I'm gonna pre-mix it. I also bring this all the way up. And I feel like if I pre-mix it, I'm not gonna use as much product or have as much product left over. Like I'm able to kind of get exactly what I want on my brush. So if you have ordered from me concealers and you want one of these containers, I mean, I send my lip scrubs to them and you guys, I will easily or gladly send you one because it's pretty awesome. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I saw one of the other girls in our company do it. So you're going in a V for a reason because you want to make sure I'm going to bring these eyes up. And now I'm going to go back in here with Whisper Pink as well, but I'm just going to take a little bit right now because I did post the picture to talk about where we want to highlight at and why. Why we want to highlight in those places. So we're just going to go a little bit down here as well. So if you're just jumping on, say hello. Don't be shy. Um, say hello, and you want to make sure that you are in my customer group so I can make sure that you are part of any of um, the giveaways that I have going on. This is bronze blush done. So I'm going to be quick, you guys, because our concealers, like our shadows, are going to set. So I'm going to try and do this all together. Normally, I do it step by step, but today I'm going to do this so everyone can kind of get a picture of it. So I'm going to contour there. And I'm going to show you guys how you can figure out where that placement goes in just a minute. So I'm just going to do that part and then I go right underneath my lip. Okay, so we go underneath our lip with the bronze blush sense. Oh, yay. You go underneath your lip with the bronze blush sense to make your lip look bigger underneath. The, um, the white is going to make your top lip pop out. I'm like, where's my contour brush? I use so many different brushes. Okay, let's go in with this before we set and we can't move it. So I'm going to put this, you guys, if you let it sit for so long, you are like stuck, especially the shadows. If you missed my one video about how I put candlelight on one day underneath my eyes and then my daughter woke up and I had to go get her, it was like candlelight stripes stuck under my eye. So the concealers are like a silicone base so they warm up with your skin so sometimes I do like putting them in my fingers and warming them up together but once it sits on your skin for a little bit you see how well that just blended in like 
it just blends in so well. So this is a stippling brush that I normally use for my foundation, but I love it. So just that little bit of bronze underneath there and just blend it right in is gonna pop your bottom lip out. Then I normally use this brush, which is by BH Cosmetics, to do my bronzing. So bronze blush scents can be a little warm. Hey, Bits. Can be a little warm for some people. It works really well for me. If it's a little warm for you, you can add mocha java to it. You can um, add smoked hope. You can add so many things to it. I'm going to do more of a dramatic contour today. And you want to make sure it stops right where your pupil is. So don't go down any further. I'm not going to blend out too much yet because I'm going to add my blush in. But it's so easy to blend. And I'm going to do my nose as well too. I did a training last night, not just me alone, but some other girls in our company with like two of the makeup trainers and it was amazing. Like I was like, I need to get on and do a training so bad. So again, blend backwards, guys. Remember, you want to blend backwards and then bring it down a little bit. I don't, I don't really like contour my chin too much because I don't feel like my chin needs to be like pointy. But I do bring down this excess that I have on my brush. So I kind of go into a three. And before, I used to just take bronzer and bronze my entire face. So the reason we do our forehead is because we want to make our forehead smaller. And then the reason we do right in here is because we want to give ourselves that like chiseled cheek look. Oh my God, I can, I can only understand. Mine is um, downstairs with the kiddos right now on his best behavior as can be expected. So, okay guys, if we're gonna talk highlighting, we highlighted under our eyes, which went to right about here, right? So if you set a brush right underneath your eye and where your nose is, this is amazing. This is an amazing tip. So set this brush like where it would sit on your face and then you're gonna roll it down once, that's where your, your blush goes. Roll it down again, that's where your contour goes. Check it out, let's do it again. So if you're gonna set this brush right on the top of your cheekbone, that's where you're gonna highlight, right? It's gonna come right where your nose is. So you're gonna highlight right there. We just highlighted right there with the light and white concealer. You're gonna roll it once, that's where your blush goes. Roll it again, and it lays right where your contour goes. So easy. It's so easy. Like, it seems like it's so complicated, but I promise you it's so easy. All right, let's see. So I'm going to do Toasted Roses, like my new favorite. Um, I, I tried to set everything out and I don't think I'm gonna find it. I think I'm gonna do Toasted Rose and Pink Berry together. Let's see how it turns out. So you can do with the blush, remember. So this area is open for blush still. It's gonna do just a little bit of Toasted Rose. I work really good with brighter colors like my and you even have extra on there. Don't get rid of that extra. You can use it as an eyeshadow. Just put your lid right back on there. Save that stuff. If you use Pinkberry, yay, Kim, I can't wait. If you use Pinkberry, you guys, the tiniest dot, like that is it. That is all you want to do. So Pinkberry will last you, well, all of the blushes will last you like two years. I don't think anybody has um, come back to me for a new blush unless they want a different color. So I just tap in a little bit and then I just go back. This is also BH Cosmetics. I go back in circles. And if you're not comfortable doing both sides, don't do both sides. Just do one side at a time. Elizabeth, everybody's like in the car today for some reason. Morgan was in the car with her husband or on a trip, like traveling somewhere for like four hours. I've seen like everyone's posts like I'm traveling today for like hours and hours. I don't want to travel. We were trying to go out to dinner tonight. That's like our biggest traveling. I like to do my eyes last. I've always liked to do my eyes last. I don't know why. It just works for me. Um, I was going to come on and do my eyes first, but I don't know. Like it's just a habit I can't break. So... Sorry, I'm gonna make sure that, ooh. There's all these new buttons on lives now. Have you guys noticed that? It's super weird. There's like all these 
in the comments are different. This is candlelight. So candlelight is an eyeshadow. <laughs> is he? Oh my God, no. I don't want to say too much because he can hear me. Candlelight is an eyeshadow. And you can, I like to use it to um, make my eyelids like a perfect palette. So they have like, you don't see any of the veins anymore in it. And then I take just a very little bit because the orange in candlelight is gonna counteract any blue or dark tones that you have. So you wanna make sure, I swear to God my daughter gets in here and plays with my brushes. You wanna make sure, oh here it is. You wanna make sure that um, you're using an orange, sorry I lost train of thought. An orange candlelight will um, take away the dark in there. So I just take it and you don't want to swipe completely. You kinda wanna push in while you're swiping it. And I just take very little bits right there because I've already used the light and white concealer. And I just kind of push in. This brush is my favorite for setting even my eyes and right under my eyes. This is also from Real Techniques. But candlelight is gonna be like, you don't need a primer with shadow scents because it's cream to powder. But I just wanna give my eyes one solid color instead of them my eyes have veins my eyes are seasoned eyes they're not like I'm not a teenager you know like there's wrinkles in them so I want to make sure that I can um give them like one all over um like palette if that makes sense like one even palette then I take our natural translucent powder and I keep the lid to the top and I set my eyes even a little bit more and the only reason I started doing this um because I had a couple customers messaging me like my eyes are still oily. Mine are not, but this works for me. It works really, really well to add just a little bit of a powder to the top of my eyes. And then I set my face when I'm done. So my light is super weird, I feel like, but that's all right. Okay, so I cannot remember the picture, but we're going to go off of it. And I think I'm going to start my crease first, which I never do. So this could be a total epic fail, but we're gonna go for it. We can epic fail together, right? This is BH Cosmetics, just a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with Mocha Java, which I feel like I use all the time. And I'm gonna go right to my crease first, and I usually do my lid first, so this is different for me. You can go um, into, like straight onto your eye with the wand, but I wanna just do more of an in-depth. So I'm gonna go straight on. And I did try to clean my brushes. If you guys don't have Cinema Secrets as a brush cleaner, like our brush cleaner is freaking amazing and I'm going to spend the night tonight cleaning brushes, but you have to clean them and let them dry. But Cinema Secrets is one awesome brush cleaner when you're in between doing your makeup or if you're doing somebody else's makeup, even your own makeup and you have like one or two brushes that you can use, the Cinema Secrets off of Amazon, it will clean your brushes and actually sanitize them 100% and you just wipe it off on a towel and you go right back in and all of your makeup is off that brush. It's awesome. I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with our brush cleaner, but I mean, in reality, like I don't, I have a lot of brushes, but like concealer brush today was full of rose gold. So I couldn't put rose gold on underneath my eyes. You know what I mean? So I had to go in and clean that brush. So I'm really excited I ordered that. And I have tons of, well not tons, but a good amount of makeovers next week during spring break too while my kids are home. It's gonna be interesting since I'm working for my MUA percentage and I need to sanitize the brushes more than just cleaning them. I mean, I have a ton, but you know. So we're doing Mocha Java in the crease. If you have hooded eyes, which I do not, um, I have a little bit right now of, it's more of like a wrinkle, I guess you would say, in my eye. And I just go right in here and kind of just like dab this in and I just build it up. Don't use too much at first. Don't freak yourself out. Nobody's perfect. You're never going to recreate like I'm recreating a picture. You're never going to recreate it like the person did it. And remember that. And that's the beauty of makeup. You get to do what you want to do, what works for you. So if somebody puts their concealer on before their foundation or you know what I mean? Like you get to do what works for you. So remember that. There are a few tips and tricks, but many things do it what works for you. 
Everyone's face shape is different. Everyone's eyes are different. Everyone's brows are different. Everything's gonna work differently. I just like to give little tips and tricks. So that was Mocha Java that we put in the crease. I always feel like I wanna zoom in when I do that. So we put that in the crease and Mocha Java is just a flat matte brown. It's really pretty. And I think I'm gonna do lips with Plum Pretty and First Love. I have not worn First Love in probably a year, no lie. So we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do Mocha Java Shimmer. Why, I don't know, but just cause I feel like it. On my crease, and then I'm gonna take a flat brush and just pat this in. I know I brought you guys all super close, but I feel like when I do my eyes, I can never get a good picture, no matter what I do. I can't get a good picture of my eyes, like it's just not possible. So, the only way to show you guys is to bring you in closer. When you use a um, shimmer shadow, you wanna use a flat brush. Make sure that you pat it in, do not swipe it. Cause if you swipe it, you're gonna take the shimmer away. And you might wanna take the shimmer away sometimes, but I don't right now. So I wanna make sure that I'm just patting this right in. So if you guys are not in my customer group, make sure you go and add yourself. The, I will drop the link at the end. Like you can tap on my face now and it will bring up my Senna site, but it won't let you click to go there until the video is over. Um, but I will link my group at the bottom and I will, I have a giveaway. Well, our diamond kiss gloss is one of my favorites and I probably should have used it today in the video, but whatever I didn't actually, I might, I could still probably use it. It's somewhere in here. Um, but it's one of my favorite glosses. So they just brought it back. Well, not just, but a little bit ago, they brought it back to our original line. So it's no longer like a limited edition color. So I'm going to give one away for free to somebody. And as you guys know, I don't do that very often. So you definitely wanna know how, I'm do how you need to get in on that. So anybody can get on that as long as you're not a distributor, you can get in on that giveaway. That is Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. So I'm highlighting right there as well, which is going to open up my eyebrows a little bit and kind of just bring them up. And I'm not really, I'm gonna go back in with Garnet um, this is kind of why I don't do my crease first for me because I still play around with like my brows and I don't know that for me I usually do my crease last and it works out that way. Also don't worry about being so perfect on your sides because I'm going to show you a little tip how to fix that as well. So you can easily, easily go in and fix anything. I know we say all the time like once you put these colors on they're on to stay but they're on to stay, definitely, but you guys, you can definitely go in and, and like move them around, you know, like fix any mistakes that you make. Isn't the blush pretty? I love a bright blush. I even opened all these products before I started. Okay, this is Mulberry. Mulberry is a beautiful pink, so we're going to go over that Mocha Java just a little bit. That might even have been too much. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna use this brush that I used for the Mocha Java. I'm just gonna pat Mulberry in. I use Mulberry as a blush as well. Like I'm just slightly patting that over the Mocha Java shimmer. I just wanted to give like more of a two-tone color. So see how that'll just brighten it up a little bit. The best thing about cream to powder is where you put it, it's going to stay. It's not gonna fall all over your face. It's not going anywhere. I wish you weren't in the car, Elizabeth, because I would bring you on co-live to talk about your eyebrows because I cannot wait to see them in person. They are so pretty. She got them micro, did you get a micro shaded or bladed? My cousin got hers done and she loves them, loves them. So I, I don't know. And you got your lash lift, correct? I'm so scared. My girlfriend got her lashes done not the lift, but she got, I think, extensions put on, and they looked so pretty when I saw it the other day. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Garnet, just in the edges a little bit, and this is by BS Mall. BS Mall is like a Sigma knockoff. Amazing brushes. On Amazon, $10 for the pack. Synthetic brushes work the best with um, cream to powder products. 
So they definitely work the best with our products because all of our products are cream to powder. So I know that picture had way more brown in the crease, but whatever, whatever. It's all right. Like I said, you're never going to recreate. Like if you're doing someone's makeup and they give you a picture, it's like hair. When I used to work in a salon and people, well, I still get it. And people would bring me a picture like, I'm going to look like her. I'd be like, girl, you don't look like her. You're not going to look like her. Like it's just not possible. Like we can get as close as we can, but you're not going to look exactly like her. It's just not possible. You did do the full microblade. Yes, I want to get it done. I'm so sick. Well, your eyebrows were a lot thinner than mine, but I don't mind filling mine in. Girl, you used to take like an hour to fill yours in. I'm so excited you got them done because that will take like what a less hour for you to get ready at seminar. <laughs> no, they look really good. I'm really happy for you. They look amazing. So this brush still had a little bit of denim in it. I tried to clean it with the Cinema Secrets, but so we're getting like a mixture of denim and um, garnet, but that's all right. That's okay. It all blends out. Yay, I'm excited. Does it feel weird? Do your eyelashes feel weird? Oh, I'm just such a like, I love to take my eye makeup off. I mean, your eye, yeah, your eyebrows are. I love to take my eye makeup off. Like I just have to take my eye makeup off. So the only thing about doing the lash extension is like you can't go with like a full eye makeup remover, like our Foops or an eye makeup remover, and you can't like rub it completely off. You kind of have to like either like dab it off with, um, what do you call it? A um, like Q-tip or something along those lines. And I am more of like, I want to, go in with eye makeup remover and like scrub my eyes. Now I'm just gonna blend this out. Blend this out. I kinda wanna add rose gold even though rose gold was not in the picture but I add rose gold to everything I feel like, everything. And I was gonna do starry sky but the eyeliner in the picture is more, um, is thicker. So then I was like, well, I should probably do candlelight. Okay, say you do your eye makeup, anything. Say you're doing powder, but you have candlelight or something at home. And say you bring this down just a little too far. You can take candlelight or sandstone pearl and just go right back over this, like this. And you can cover any mistakes up or any bit that you brought down too far. Because there's so much coverage in this, you can just cover right back up and you can give yourself a nice clean line. You can do whatever you want to do. Makes it easy, makes it fun. Do they? Yeah, she said hers felt really good too. Yours are lifted, yeah. I have to look into it. I have a girlfriend that does it. I just need to, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I need to, um, I don't know, I guess just do it. I don't know, I'm such a like, I don't know, I should probably do it. Obviously I do other beauty things related to myself that I'm not scared about. Um, I just totally am like, I want to, um, I wanna be able to like take my eye makeup and rinse it off, like, okay. So let's do our last bit of what I call baking. So this is baking in my opinion with our products. I use Whisper Pink and I go in under here and then I'll finish my eyes. And then I do go back in here, back in here again, and I kind of go up a little bit in here, then like this. Whisper Pink, if you do not have it, I don't know why, you need it. Um, You wanna brighten up underneath your eyes. You wanna brighten up underneath here. You want to make that, I mean, sorry not sorry, I still wanna make my lip bigger, and yes, we all know I just got injected. Um, and I still use our plumper every single night, but I love the way it looks, just popping it out a little bit more. So the stuff you can do with makeup is awesome and it never looks cakey. You just don't want to let this sit too long because, um, you'll have stripes. You'll definitely look like you were, um, 
dressing up to go, you know, like with a tribe or something. So you definitely want to make sure you blend it in and don't let it sit too long. I try not to go down too further. Remember we talked about where we highlight. So highlighting goes right here, blush goes right there, contour will go right there. So roll your brush. That to me last night, I don't know why, I have never seen that tip before, but that was like a aha moment. I was like, yes, that is the best tip ever. Like, especially to be able to teach anybody that I do makeup on, because everyone looks at contouring and highlight like, wait, where am I supposed to put that? No, what am I supposed to do? It looks so crazy and so difficult that um, I think people get so scared and it's really not. Yeah, your eyelashes are already amazing. Like, your eyelashes are already long. They were super long. Okay, I'm going to do, should I do Starry Sky or Onyx? I think I just had Onyx out here. Where to go? I don't know. I don't know. Starry Sky or Onyx? If I can find my Onyx. It's so funny. And you guys that do lives know. Everyone thinks that we're like crazy people out here doing lives, but... We all know why we do it, because the hustle is for real. And um, if everybody else got along and did it with us, they would have so much fun. But anyways, um, Starry Sky or Onyx, you guys. I can't find my Onyx, and I don't know why. So I guess we're going to do Starry Sky. Okay, so Starry Sky is a limited edition eyeliner, and it does have a little bit of glitter in it. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. It's eye sense is what we call it. Everything is sense that we do. It's shadow scents, lip scents, blush scents, everything has a sense to it. So it's fun. But this is a liquid eyeliner. I'm trying to get better and not pull too much. So I'm trying to just lay my hand here. It is a liquid eyeliner. My biggest suggestion, hey Sam, my biggest suggestion when you're doing a liquid, I did, sorry Sky, you're, um, a liquid eyeliner is push into your lashes. Start from the corner like I just did and push into your lashes. Here's my other thing. Don't worry about having it perfect. Nobody's going to be this close to you. And if they are, they love you. So they don't care if your eyeliner is perfect or not. I promise you. So do not worry about it. Just do what makes you happy. Hey, Julie. Like, my husband would never be like, um, Sarah, your eyeliner has a little wave to it. It's not going to happen. Do what works for you. So, again, I'm trying not to pull as much because I do pull a lot when I do my eyeliner. And it's going to give you wrinkles back here. So we shouldn't do that. So I'm trying to set my hands slowly. And then I'm just trying to go right off the corner here. I always do better with this eye. Right off the corner. And push into your lashes. And I'm doing it a different way. I used to start from the middle of my pupil and work my way out. I used to start like this because I would pull so tight. And I'm trying so hard to do it the correct way. Like, but fixing a habit that you've done for, God, I don't even know. I wear a wing liner like every day. So fixing a habit that you've done for so many years is really hard. But Starry Sky has the same formula. All of our eye scents has the same formula as lip scents. So if I go take a shower right now, my eye makeup is not coming off. And I would say that I would take that as a pretty good line. I mean, looks pretty good in my opinion. Again, nobody says you have to be perfect. And the more that I start to mess with my liner is when it starts to get not perfect. Um, so I kind of leave it, even if it's not exactly perfect on each eye. Nobody's going to be able to tell that once I put my, um, honey, go downstairs. I'll be done in just a little bit. Nobody's going to be able to tell fully that both of my wings aren't 100% perfect until I, you know, unless they're like super close to me. Peyton, go down with daddy and I'll be done in just a little bit, okay? So we're going to go in with Whisper Pink right underneath our eyes here. 
just to lighten it up a little bit. So this whole look was to like maybe go out for date night, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, but that's all right. We can still have a look like we're going out for date night. Now this is Undersense, which is our la like a lash conditioner and lengthener. It's amazing and it makes your lashes, it makes the mascara like lay on your lashes. It's just so, it's awesome. It's super conditioning for your lashes. I do not have the longest lashes. I just don't. I have started wearing, um, I can't talk when I do the bottom. I have started wearing false lashes for like super glam nights, but if I sat online and tried to put on false lashes, you guys would be sitting here with me for three hours. And I know you don't want to watch that. I want to watch that. I do watch a girl who does her makeup at night every single night live. And her lives go two and a half hours. And I watch them start to finish because she's so amazing. And she puts her lashes on and she's like breastfeeding her kids. She is like doing everything under the sun. She's total mom bossing it 100%. And she's amazing. And I watch her start to finish. So... I don't know, I might start doing them nightly because I know that's when you can get up to like your most viewers and I definitely want people to see the most. The way that these businesses work is when you got, even if you guys don't have any, no one, I'm not getting on here to be like buy anything from me. I'm honestly just getting on here to show you guys what I'm passionate about. So we're able to do this through our home. I'm able to do this because I have a license so I can still do this in my home. But when you're working towards our MUA, which is a uh, certification through Senegens, there's so many faces that they want you to do and um, different face shapes and eye colors and all that good stuff. So we are able to reach more people through social media. So this would be the same thing of somebody coming to like the Mac counter or any other counter and getting tips and tricks. It's just the same thing totally is. It's just what we love to do and we want to share it with everybody we love. That's how I try to explain it the most. So it's a job. Like my husband just said, I was like, I don't feel like getting on live right now. And he was like, but it's a job, right? And he's 100% right. Like it is 100% my job. Um, I support our family with obviously his income. And this is how I do it. believe it or not. Home with my babies. Can't get better than that. So once I'm done today, I get to go spend the rest of the day playing Uno and Old Maid and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's the best. So that is the black lash sense. And then I'm going to take a very little bit of pearlizer. So you can highlight with pearlizer. And if you watched from the beginning, then you saw that I used pearlizer. This is where I would think that Kabuki brush would be amazing. So then I'm gonna take a little bit of pearlizer where I highlighted it as well, and I am extra, so I want that extra shimmer. Everyone that knows me knows, like I am definitely down for that extra shimmer, for sure. So again, if you are just watching now, make sure that you are in my customer group, because you want to be. Um, make sure if you want to be nice and click the little button down there that starts with an S, that would be amazing. Um, and you want to come join the customer group and have fun. It's so fun. It's fun for me. It's the best time ever, honestly. It's become like my little place, my place of people. This is the natural powder. So this is going to set my face. It's so awesome. This tube lasts forever. This is my second tube in 15 months and I use it daily. I put it on once and I don't put it on again. It doesn't even come with me. And I used to be so oily through here, so oily. Like I was so oily to the point of where I would carry around my Clinique pressed powder and apply it all day long. But I also used to have a face that was broken out and it was insane, so. I don't know, we might not have gotten my eyes 100% how that look was, but it's my version and it works out, right? It works for me. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is how it all began. I never even knew when I started with this company that we had more than uh, lip scents. I was like, wait, there's makeup? Are you kidding me? I didn't know that. 
So let's do our lips. Let me put my drawer away. And I think we're gonna do Plum Pretty and First Love with Rose Gloss. So um, First Love can be a harder color to apply, but I thought it would look good with this because it's more of a pinky brown like neutral. Um, but it can be a harder color to apply because it's thinner. It's actually not thicker. Um, it's a thinner, um, sorry, it's a thinner formulation. So a lot of people think that it's a thicker formulation, but it's really thinner and that's why you can see some of the areas when you apply it. So I have learned that if you apply a frost below first love, it grabs on a lot easier. So now you want to clean and dry your lips. And I have not wore either of these colors in a really long time. So we want to make sure we shake really well because you want your wand to be almost like clear when you pull it out. And since I have so many colors, I, it's hard. I forget sometimes about colors and I don't wear them. I was going to open the new Skyline and wear it today, but I don't know. Maybe I'll change my lips later. Blue. I was going to do blue, to, blue and then change it with like Precious Topaz or something, but it's not going to match this look. So, okay. So we're going to do, we shook it up. I'm going to do Plum Pretty first. I do line my lips. So as you see, I pull that out and that wand is nice and clear. That means that I shook it up really well. So we're going to go, I'm going to line this. We do have liners. Um, if you like them, I like to use our lip sense as a liner. But we do have them in a few different colors, eight, I think. My whole opinion is, I shouldn't say my whole opinion. It's, everyone's different. I just like using the scents. Okay, so I lined that one a little thicker than normal. That's okay. So you're still gonna go in with your first layer. And it's so fun. Like the other day I was out, where was I at? I don't even know. And I was like looking at people and I was like, you know, they probably wear the same lipstick every day. Like I used to be that girl that wore the same blush every day. Same lipstick every day. Because I didn't have any other options. And I still wanted to buy like expensive blush. So I was not going to go buy a $30 blush and then wear another color. Like I just wasn't going to do that. So my blush was like 30 bucks and I still wore the same color every single day. Well, now I can wear my blush as an eyeshadow. I can put it on my lips. I can do so many different things with it. So now I have all these different color blushes. I mean, my eyeshadows I can use as blush. I can use my eyeshadow on my lips. The options are endless and it's amazing. So I like being able to switch it up. I like the fact that you can do what you want. Okay, so this is First Love. And we need to shake this one a little bit more. I have not used First Love probably in like a year. I know we do love playing games, Kim, right? So Diamond Kiss Gloss. Okay, how are you gonna win Diamond Kiss Gloss? You obviously are gonna have to watch this video to find out and I think I need two more comments on my um, post in my customer group. So once we get to 50 comments, which should happen, should have happened a lot quicker since there's 600 and some numbers in there. But anyways, once you get to 50 comments, I am going to announce how, or I'm gonna announce it right now in this video. So I'm not gonna tell my group, so they'll have to watch this video. So the people that either share this business page, share this video, Hold on. I can't talk in a high. I just can't. So that's first love, and you want to let that dry really well. I do want to see that line. So I want to make it where I can see the line from the plum pretty. So whoever shares this business page or shares this video, and also if we get this page up to 1K viewers, because then Facebook unlocks it for so much more business stuff for me. I'm giving away $100 to shop my stock. 
yeah, pretty awesome, right? So you have a chance of getting a diamond kiss gloss and you could get that. So there's gonna be two ways to get the diamond kiss gloss. One of them is share one of these videos that you like on this page or share the page and give a reason as to why to your friends. I forgot how pretty this color was. Like, it's so pretty. It's a matte color. It's like a brownish pink. It's really pretty. So you're gonna let your layers dry really good when you're using First Love. Really, really good. Look at those eyes, you guys. Honestly, check it out. I can't even close it all the way, but it's so pretty. And it's so simple and it's so fun. And if you have been thinking like, I wanna do that, like I wanna do that, then you need to message me because right now is the time. Honestly, is the time. And you are on here. Or if you wanna come over, if you're local. If you wanna come over if you're local, and you want to play around with colors, or you want to be one of my faces for the makeover, just let me know. I am doing people I don't even know next week, and that's so fun to me. See how even that applied on, after going down on a layer that has frost to it? It applies so even after um, you lay down a layer of frost. Like it just goes down so nice and even. So that's three layers. First layer was plum pretty, two layers of first love. And you have to let it dry really good because first love is thinner. You'll think it's thicker, but it's more of a thinner formula. So sometimes it can apply streaky, but it applied perfect. So make sure you lay that down first. This is a rose gloss. Which is a very pretty, this light, light pink gloss. Thanks, Kim. The awkward part is when you're applying your lip color and you can't talk, because Lord knows I can talk to anybody. All right, guys, so here's the whole spiel, like, you know, not going anywhere, that's just my gloss. So it's set for the day. Everything's set for the day. My eye makeup, nothing's going to come off. So I get to go hang out with my kids and my husband and play Old Maid and play Uno and have a fun day at home. But you know what, that's okay. I wouldn't have it any other way. Any tips and tricks that you learned, um, let me know. Remember, if you ordered light and white from me and you want one of these containers, um, let me know because I feel like this has saved my life putting the light and white concealer in here um, The coverage that you get is awesome any brushes any questions that you need Just let me know I will try to go and list every single product that I used at the bottom of this um, Video and have a great Saturday you guys and make sure you get into my group my customer group You have to get in there because you don't want to miss the giveaway for the gloss. All right guys. Love you. Bye